guys, it's Krista. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a self-care night. I don't really have a reason other than the fact I want to. And I think it's really nice to treat yourself once in a while. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything too complicated though. I think I just wanna take a bath. I have a couple of bath bombs that I got as a gift that I haven't used yet. So I thought it'd be nice to do that. Light some candles. I'm just have you know, a quiet, relaxing night. And yeah, I think it's gonna be really nice. So yeah, let's get to it. So I just got done with my bath and it was so nice. I haven't taken a bath in a really long time. Now I thought it'd be nice. I'm gonna do some skincare before I start off with my regular skincare routine. I thought I'd do a little face mask. I have this ordinary one, the salicylic acid mask. And right now I'm having a little bit of breakout. So I thought, you know what, be a good time to do this. I haven't done a face mask in a really long time, so I don't know. Again, it's gonna be nice. I feel like I don't do enough self-care nights like this often enough, but it said to leave it on for no more than 10 minutes. I'm gonna do like seven minutes or something like that because, I don't know, it's actually burning a little bit. I don't know if it's normal because it's a salicylic acid mask. I'm gonna do it for like seven minutes. Okay, so the face mask is off. I'm gonna be honest, I took it off pretty early because it was in fact burning my face and I think now I remember the reason why I haven't worn it in a really long time, but whatever. Um, hopefully I'm not allergic to it. That would be really bad, but oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna start with my skincare routine now and as I do it, I kinda wanna talk about something I'm thinking about. I think that sometimes these type of like excessive self-care videos, while well, they can be fun, I also feel like they're a little bit toxic. You know, I obviously think it's okay to invest in like these products or treatments and stuff even if they are expensive, but at the same time, I feel like social media perpetuates and promotes overconsumption. And especially since, you know, trends come and go so easily, like viral products and all that stuff. You know, there are times where I felt insecure because I don't have like these trendy products that everyone has, especially when like when I make videos. I also think that you know sometimes social media sets an unrealistic standard of self-care. Sometimes if I don't do these excessive things like dry brushing or I don't know, massage my scalp or have like a 10-step hair care routine or skincare routine or doing treatments or buying all of these products, it feels like sometimes I'm not fully taking care of myself, which is just not true. And I also know that it's unrealistic because because most people, you know, normal people who aren't, you know, influencers, people who work full-time, who have nine to five, or work customer service, or who are full-time students, like, like who are the majority of the population, you know, don't have time or maybe the money or just don't want to spend their money on all of these excessive things. And that is totally okay. That doesn't mean they're not taking care of themselves properly. That doesn't mean I'm not taking care of myself properly. Um, and I did want to acknowledge, I am fortunate to, I'm, I'm not in school and I've taken the semester off, but the fact that I'm able to do that to begin with, and I obviously, if I did want to spend this time to be super intense with self-care, I could, but like that is honestly not really my personality to be spending hours on myself. I'm a, I'm a pretty lazy person. Like I do like to pamper myself once in a while, but it's like not my thing. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I almost wasn't going to make this video because I knew it wasn't going to be as aesthetic or luxurious or whatever as other people's videos, but then I just realized like that was stupid. And yeah, I don't know where I was going with this rant, but it was just something that I really wanted to touch upon because I do sometimes watch other people's videos and just think like, oh, it's so fun for them to be investing all this time, you know, taking care of themselves. And I think it's obviously amazing. But in the back of my head, I was also thinking like, you know, this is not realistic. And I feel like it is really normalized on YouTube. I'm not to say that every influencer, this is how their night looks like. It's probably not true. Like I'm sure they just want content, which is, I've done that too, where I made like productive videos and have compiled a bunch of things to do in one day so I can have something to do in the video. But I think it's just, you know, nice to remind myself that like what we see online isn't reality as much as like we think it is because we're so surrounded by that because it's what we see every day. But that, like I said, that does not mean like it's normal to do all the time. Yeah, I'm finished with my skincare and now I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fix my hair a little bit because having it in a hair tie made a little crease in my hair and my things kind of look disgusting. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I kind of want to paint my nails and I don't know if that's a bad idea or not because whenever I paint my nails at night, it always ends up looking like shit because I like usually go to sleep when they're still a little wet. So it turns out really weird. But you know what? For the sake of this video and it being a self-care night, I think I'm gonna do it. Like so early, it's like nine o'clock right now. So I'm not gonna go to bed for like at least another two, three hours. I'm just gonna do like this little pink nude color. My nails grow pretty long. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, so I just kind of paint them because I don't want to spend money on getting my nails done. So the nails are done. So this is what they look like. I don't know if you can really tell in this lighting, but it's just a solid nude pink, but it looks good. Um, it did in fact take me an hour just because I wanted to make sure that I was fully dry. And now I'm going to do my five minute journal. Uh, this is like the pretty much the extent of journaling that I do. The five minute journal is very simple. It has prompts for you to do in the morning and then at night. So in the morning, you have to write three things you're grateful for, three things that you would want to do today and your daily affirmations. And then at night, do three highlights of the day and what you learned. So yeah, I'm going to fill this out. come to the point in the night where I'm just going to be laying in my bed until I go to sleep but I decided to do a little nice ambiance I mean nothing too crazy I just like handle and I turned on my little lights on my headboard which I like rarely do but yeah usually I'll either just watch Netflix or YouTube or read until I go to sleep um then I think I'm going to be reading I'm currently reading Supernova by Marissa Mayer Meyer. It's the third book in the Renegades trilogy. It's like the one that's about superheroes and I honestly am enjoying it a lot. I've been binging the series and it's just exactly what I need right now. I was in the mood for you know something kind of more fast paced. You know not just a romance because I was reading a lot of romance. I wanted like actual kind of plot with world building, a little bit of politics. Like it's very light on all that stuff but it still makes sense and that is exactly what I needed. I wanted something that wasn't too hard to understand but you can tell had thought put into the world building and like its characters its plot and all that stuff yeah i think i'm gonna be reading the rest of the night i'll probably go on my phone scroll on tiktok for a little bit if we're being honest but yeah that's my night i'm gonna go ahead and read now <laughs> 